You want to talk about hair loss? Do you want to talk about hair loss? I thought you did. You do. You know you do. <laughs> so I got a comment here on a video called Hair Loss is Caused by Wearing Hats? Nope. Uh, our good friend, Lupe Official, or we can call him Edward either way, he sent me a comment today on that video. He said this, quote, Could you maybe do a video related to job interviews as I too am searching for a job and would like some solid advice face-to-face -face interviews and impress employers kind regards Edward end quote so you know what uh, I know this is a little bit on the outskirts of, of a hair loss video um, but I think enough people could find it relevant so yeah let's do this it's funny because as you all know I did have my first interview this week and it went very well. Of course, you know, it may be a while before I know anything, but it went very well and I, I felt good about it. Whether I get the job or not, I felt good about the interview. Um, so here's what I'm gonna say. If you are someone who's experiencing hair loss and you're in for a job interview, of course, we all know what the uh, reports say, right? If you just, if you bick it, if you shave your head, you're gonna appear more dominant and confident and taller and all those good things. But what if you're like me? You don't want to do that right now. You don't have to do that right now and you're not going to. So what about people like me and people like you, Edward? Um, here's what I'm going to say. I'd say step number one, whatever your hairstyle is, it's a matter of being clean enough, which by the way, in two more weeks, I'm going to need to get this cleaned up. And actually, I think, I think I'm leaning towards a number two on the sides and the back, but I want to leave the link. So uh, Maxwell Smart can come in and, and let me know what he thinks about that. But if I were to do a number two on the sides and the back and basically leave the, the, I really like the length on the top. I think it's, it's right there in the perfect in between where it, it keeps things symmetrical enough. It covers the thinning enough. And, uh, well, what was the other thing? I mean, yeah, it's because when it gets longer then it just, it doesn't work because my hairline goes up too high. But anyway, it's about having a neat clean appearance as far as your hairstyle, whatever that ends up being. But as far as what really helped me in the interview and, and helped me feel good about it, and I could tell that they were, I, I was staying up to speed with them. Um, I want to suggest that you do this. I, w I suggest that you go to my other YouTube channel called Family Friendly Daddy Blog. Um, I, I have a blog called that, but I also have a YouTube channel called that. And I want you to search this term, emotional intelligence. I'll say it again, emotional intelligence. So just go to that channel and there'll be a search box, type that in. Or if you just want to go to YouTube and Google the whole thing, family, family, daddy blog, emotional intelligence. I've got about six or seven videos that really cover that. And what that's going to do is it's going to help uh, really kind of give you that power. Think, I, I, I'm, I'm almost done with the book that I'm reading called Emotional Intelligence 2.0. And one of the things that talks about that all of us are basically born with a, a set IQ. All right. Some of us are smarter than others. That's just part of it. As for me, I'm probably just a little above, barely above average, if anything. That's, that's, I'm pretty much average on that. And I'm okay with that because what this book shows is it's people that are emotionally intelligent, which is instead of IQ, it's EQ, EQ. That is ultimately what gets people ahead in life. That's, uh, the book explains that, uh, People who make more money for a living, people who get what they want are more emotionally intelligent. And what that ultimately means is that it means that you are able to understand yourself and your emotions very well, better than most people can do for themselves. And also you're able to read other people's emotions better than most people could. So that you already, it, it, it actually reminds me of an episode of The Office, um, the one with Andy Bernard where he is when, he, when they do the merge and he goes over to the screen office and he talks about how he's gonna make the best impression by repeating names and he's going to be mimicking the body language and repeating back what they say and asking questions based on that, which ultimately could go back to Dale Carnegie, ways to influence friends and make, make friends and influence people, whatever. It's, it's all that. It, it, and it reminds me too of this whole hair loss thing that these guys want to think that girls won't date them because they're losing their hair and really the girls are judging all this other stuff and these guys that are bald are getting the girls because they know that how the system actually works and the guys that are balding but haven't accepted it yet are losing out because they think that they're being judged on the baldness. 
So the winner is the bald guy who understands that. And that's really what emotional intelligence is all about. You know, you can look at on paper who should win when whatever it is. And then you get a guy like me who can basically kind of talk his way into stuff. Uh, not manipulation, but just understanding other people so that they perceive me as the person that they want. So ultimately that comes down to what I've talked before about only you control your emotions, only you control how other people make you feel. You control whether they make you feel anything. I turn the breaker switch off so no one can emotionally affect me. I have to give them permission. So I think that that will really help you if you go to my other channel and look for those videos. Or if you go to, actually to my blog, I've got a blog post about it, but there's five or six videos I actually just shared with someone earlier today that were asking me uh, to learn more about that. So ultimately, if you're in the process of losing your hair and you're in the process of, of uh, trying to get a new job like I am, uh, what I would say is uh, go with the hairstyle that makes you feel most confident. It doesn't have to hide your hairline, but it's gotta be clean. You gotta feel confident in it. And then also, Research that emotional intelligence thing. Seriously, it's all about that person. It's all about you catering to what they're looking for. It's basically acting. And that's really what I do on these YouTube channels. I mean, granted, I'm talking to you now, this is me. This isn't, this isn't an act, this is just me. If, if you were standing right in front of me, I'd be telling you the same thing. I'd be talking you the same way, but Acting is a big part of life. In fact, uh, and I'll end with this. Uh, um, why am I? Well, I'm getting blurry. Whoa, I'm fading away. Man, that was weird. This is trippy. But anyway, uh, you know, growing up, what did I do? I, you saw the video with my dad, and and you know, he was never into sports. I was never into sports. What did I do instead, though? I was in plays. I was acting on stage. I grew up doing that. And then as I got into junior high and high school, what was I doing? I learned to play the guitar. I'm playing music. I'm singing. I'm writing. I'm doing that stuff. I'm up in front of people. And of course, when you're performing like that, you have to be able to read the audience and think, are they into this? Were are they into the most? How can I capitalize on that? And ultimately, that's what I'm doing as a YouTuber. Uh, and I, it's funny because my skills in interviewing, I felt so confident in. I couldn't feel that way if it weren't for being a YouTuber. So uh, that's the best advice I can personally give you in regards to hair loss, get, taking an, uh, interviewing for a job, and what it really takes to win those people over. So check out those videos and thanks for asking.